Okay, we're glad to know that you. you're still there and uh, watching the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now, our topic of discussion is that the new FIRS boss targets tax to GDP ratio of 18% in three years. And to discuss that with us, we have Mr. Gabriel Folucho Fashoto, managing partner, Gabe Fashoto and Company, chartered accountants and uh, tax practitioners. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Fashoto. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. 18% mm. tax to GDP in three years. How realizable is that? Good morning, viewers, once again. 18% tax to GDP is very much realizable, though with certain preconditions. Um, whenever any new boss assumes office in FRS, they normally come with their statement of vision. And I like the vision of the current FRS boss, getting 18%, which is similar to the mandate given to the uh, Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms. Um, as you are aware, tax composes of different types of uh, levies uh, imposed by government on its citizens, principal among which include the petroleum profit tax, corporate tax, as well as some consumption taxes. When you look at Nigeria, Nigeria has a lot of resources. But harnessing these resources happen to be the bane of our problem. Uh, up to the end of 2020, Nigeria was recording 6% tax to GDP ratio. But in 2021, with the collaborative efforts of the Federal Ministry of Finance, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, as well as National Bureau of Statistics, they identified some tax revenue being collected by the NDAs that were omitted from the computation of tax to GDP ratio, which is supposed to be the norm and what operates in other climes, such as OECD countries. And then when they brought in those tax revenues, the Nigerian tax to GDP moved from 6% to 10.86% of the GDP. If this effort, collaborative effort, should persist. I believe that even before the end of the next three years, Nigeria should be able to surpass the 18%. I will still dwell more later on in the course of this interview. Okay, but but we are we're, we're talking very much about tax when we are trying to uh, make our economy grow better and all that. Is it that our major source of income will come from taxation? Because even the, the commodities that should be taxed, some of them are not even regulated, let alone talking about tax. For instance, the, uh, the mineral resources that we have, apart from oil that we are mining uh, as a country, other things are being done by private individuals and the taxes don't come from there because in the first place they are illegal in most cases. So are they looking in this direction or they're just looking at, you know, increasing uh, taxation on the people that they are already taxing? Well, if you listen to the uh, chairman of the Presidential Committee on Tax Reform and Fiscal Policy, that's Mr. Tewo Loyede, uh, what you have just said happens to be part of his submission. If you also listen to the new minister of uh, mineral resources Alake. he also mentioned similar thing that's uh, mr Dele Alake. Alake. he also mentioned similar thing you know nigeria is bedeviled with leakages with you know corruption that is why we have not been doing things in the right way 
Let's take the issue of the mineral resources. Um, what has stopped the government from operating the constitutional provisions regarding the mineral resources mining? You know, it has domiciled the authority to mine the mineral resources on the federal government of Nigeria. And the federal government appears to have slept on its rights in this area. That is why you have the Koreans, the Indians, the Lebanese coming to illegally mine our mineral resources. If government is determined to go into this area, you can imagine the huge tax revenue Nigeria is going to get. That is going to form part of the 18% being talked about by the new FRS boss. Then when it comes to even the informal sector, especially on consumption taxes, VAT, as well as uh, 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 real estate taxes, you will observe that we are still not doing well like in developed countries. Even the personal income tax, which happens to be the main uh, source of revenue for state governments. What are we doing about this? We are still having a lot of taxpayers outside the tax plan. So it may not be correct that increasing the GD, uh, tax to GDP ratio from 10% to 18% will be to tax people more. No. But rather, is to bring in more people who are currently outside the tax net or those who are inside the tax net but are not paying the right taxes at the right time. That is what you saw of uh, the, the tax to GDP ratio to 18%. But what's the game plan? Is there a roadmap that was given that, uh, how, on how to achieve this? Because if you just say, okay, we are going to uh, make sure that uh, the illegal mining will stop, like Delia Lake said, uh, what plan is on ground to make sure? Because there's a cabal there already, and in Nigeria, our problem is cabals. Uh, so they do a lot of things and get away with it. That's why today we do not even know who was responsible for the fuel subsidy that was not done rightly. They were buying empty containers, you know, paying for empty containers that were coming to the country. We know these people, but nobody has been brought to book because if you ask, they will say there is a cabal, which is a problem. So what is the game plan to fight these cabals? What is the game plan to make sure that these things are made legal now and the tax can be gotten from there? Because it's not enough to just make pronouncements. Are you comfortable with whatever roadmap, if you have had the privilege of seeing it? that they are going to use to achieve this? It's simple. The game plan is just the political will on the headmaster or the CEO of Nigerian economy. That is Mr. President. Where there is a will, there will always be a way. If Mr. President takes in interest in turning things around for taxation in Nigeria today, and with the cooperation of his nominees, I believe that we can achieve what we have set out to achieve. For example, the illegal miners, they cannot be stronger than Nigerian uh, uh, machineries. If Nigeria today decide that no illegal mining should operate in Nigeria, I believe that we have the wherewithal to, uh, to actualize that. But because some people in the government, they have collaborated with these illegal miners. That is why you have the illegal mining thriving in the country. So if there is political will, we will surely achieve that. Then, when you have people who are currently outside the tax net, and because they have certain people in the government who will make them to be untouchable for the tax people, then you will not be able to have your head with. But if the political will is there on the part of Mr. President, as well as his nominees in the ministerial uh, uh, the circuit, I believe that we'll be able to achieve this. So that's just the game plan, political will. Political will. Well, I do hope that the president is going to have that political will to fight uh, some of his contemporaries, because if you say people in government, they must be very high up in government for them to be able to do that. A Lebanese cannot be in Nigeria for uh, illegal uh, mining and stay up to a year, up to two years, up to five years, except the person who gave him that leave to be will be really, really 
high up there. But if you were to add to um, what this committee, this, uh, this, this team that is going to drive this process of getting the 18% uh, would be if you were to give them a word of advice, something to add to what they have already planned, what would it be? Well, the, uh, they must start from, the, the discipline must start from themselves. You have just mentioned something, whether the Mr. President will be able to deal with the, his uh, colleagues, his friends, and so on and so forth. When the current Mr. President was the governor of Lagos State, he was able to achieve that. Because I know that um, during his tenure and subsequently by the uh, other governors, if you are not discharging your tax obligation properly and you should go to them, you want to meet them, they will first of all ask you to go and redress your tax position. So if Mr. President continues with that, uh, you know, political will, no matter how friendly you are with him, if, if he should tell you right position, you will say that it will be very simple for us to achieve this 18% tax to GDP. Now, as regards the Presidential Committee on uh, Tax Reform and Fiscal Policy, as well as the new FRS boss, who is part of the team, I think that um, they should they should not look at anybody's eyes in implementing the vision they have set uh, for themselves to achieve. The, uh, Nigeria has the resources. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a win-win situation. If everybody should pay his or her taxes, the companies should pay their taxes, we will see that Nigeria will be better for it. We have more than enough resources to cater for all our expenses in this country. We have no business going abroad in, in Nigeria. You know, using 96% of our revenue to service debt is actually not acceptable. Such a thing is not done elsewhere. But with the setting up of that committee, that presidential committee on tax reform, with a new, new person at the helm of, of affairs in FRS, and with political will on the part of Mr. President, I believe that we, are, we should be able to achieve this 18% tax to GDP ratio. Mm -hmm. You sound like 18% is even a modest uh, number that they called. No, no, not at all. You know, African uh, uh, average is 16.5. You can't imagine that even smaller countries in, in Africa, they are achieving over 30% uh, tax to GDP ratio. But, you know, what? So, as long as my uh, journey starts with the first step, you don't say that you are. from 10 points in the next three years we should be we should be able to surpass the 18 percent you know the ultimate objective is for us to be able to fund all our expenditures through government revenue rather than going abroad mm. yeah well, that is the ultimate objective yeah. so no matter what it takes we should not be going abroad when we are having the resources to fund the expenditures yes yeah, well, um, paying tax, I, I have reason to believe that paying tax is not the Nigeria problem. Uh, the problem is paying tax when you perceive that your tax may not be used well. It may be used to buy bullet cars for the people that you've elected into office. It may be used for other things rather than building roads and schools and making education easy for people and making life or businesses easy for people. That is the problem Nigerians might have. I do hope the team will not only be thinking about how to break in the money, but how to make sure it is used 
uh, for the benefit of the people and people get to see that that tax money is going for the right reasons or going to the right uh, projects that needs to be done for the benefit of everybody. Because that is the problem of anybody who is paying tax. I'm paying tax and then I'm getting palliative of uh, one bag per six families of rice uh, to share. I'm, get, I'm paying tax and I'm, then I'm getting palliative of 10 or 12,000 naira for six months. And then another person is getting 200 million naira. These things also are part of the problem that make people not to even want to pay tax. I hope they will be addressing this as well. Well, you know, that is why when you ask me of game changer and I uh, mentioned political will, you know, in government, we have uh, specialization. There is a particular agency responsible for generating the revenue. That same agency cannot be responsible for Okay. Well, unfortunately, we lost. Okay. Best at presidential best period, for example, for the, the best period Nigerians have ever had is the tenure of, uh, in terms of taxation in Nigeria, is it the tenure of uh, Baba uh, Baba Tunde Raji Pashola? You you recall that people were voluntarily discharging their tax obligation at that time. Why? Because the, the the utilization of of tax proceeds, mm. you know, was very very transparent. Yeah. People whose area have been neglected for quite a lot of time, you will see the government coming into their area without being prompted, and roads were being uh, properly built, bridges bridges were being made, and you know, infrastructural uh, facilities were being carried out uh, uh, at that level. So people were impressed and they were encouraged to mm. pay their taxes. Mm. So if the president of the nation, who is the commander in chief of the armed forces, is able to exercise due political will mm. to utilize whatever proceed we are getting from taxation well for the benefit of the citizens, you will see that people will voluntarily comply. Yeah. In the state, in the acceptance speech of the new FRS box, he was talking about voluntary compliance to be one of his uh, cardinal points. If people are to voluntarily comply with taxation, the utilization of tax proceed must be at mm. top level. Yeah. So Mr. President of the country must be able to see to this area, utilize, well, proper utilization of tax revenue. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Fashoto, for coming on the program and enlightening us on uh, the topic. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you very much. Okay, we've been talking with Mr. Gabriel Folusho Fashoto, managing partner, Gabe Fashoto and Company, chartered accountants and tax practitioners on the program. And this is where we draw the curtain on the day's uh, edition of the program. We do hope that you will join us again at the same time tomorrow for another edition. Until then, on behalf of the entire team of The Breakfast Show, my name is Nyam Gul Agaji.